Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we get to Trot Kamani. So I practice some flexing, obviously, before we do anything else. And then I ask her to go straight, and then we practice going to the right. She's kind of tied around the side, as you guys have known if you've been following her first through fifth ride now. She's very tight on the side. She's in heat again. <laughs> so that's nice. Trying to kind of push her more onto the fence on this side. And get her a little bit softer so she's not as tight. I'm just kind of allowing her to walk as long as she's going to the right. And I'm also working on pulling and pushing her over to the rail. Right here, I'm pushing and pulling because she doesn't really know what my leg on means quite yet, so I can't just use my leg. I have to kind of teach her by pulling and pushing at the same time, if that makes sense. So, she does free up more than she has the last few days. I will give her that much. And here, I finally get her to trot. Um, it took a whole lap of this, but I didn't think you guys wanted to see that, so I cut that out. And we get a couple steps to trot. And then she stops. So I just keep pushing and asking her to go forward. And stay off the fence at the same time. Because I want her close to the rail, but I don't want her so close that my leg is getting caught up in the rail. So I just keep asking here. And I'm kissing to her. I'm digging my heels in and squeezing. And if that doesn't work, I'm taking my reins and whacking around her shoulders. Which seemed to really help. She's got a nice little trot, though. It's actually pretty quick. <laughs> so that's going to be fun to post later on. It is quiet enough to sit it, but, I mean, I like to post better. So after I stopped her, rubbed on her, let her catch her breath. We obviously need to do um, the trot on both reins. Even though she's a little tighter on this side, I still need her to feel it from both sides. And get used to it on both sides, if that makes sense. <laughs> so every time she stops, I just guide her head back forward and ask her again. And see there, she's staying on the rail nicer. Until right there, she kind of cuts in. So I just push my heel on her, pull my rein, and you can see she goes over. Right there, she actually stopped off me just saying, whoa, and then I asked her to back. So I want to start um, teaching her now how to kind of get like a nicer stop. Although she's got a pretty solid one right now, um, if you stop them and back them up enough, they'll start to kind of really dig that butt in and use their body when they stop, and it'll be a really nice stop. So there she kind of drops her head a little bit, and I just let her, as long as it's not, you know, too far down where she can throw a buck or anything like that. I'm actually pretty happy with her. We did like a 17 minute ride, and most of it was trotting. Uh, just because I wanted to make sure she was absolutely confident. I probably could have cantered her today, but you'll see why I didn't here in a little bit. We had a little problem at the end of the video, and on top of that, it's super slick, and the mud's super deep over where I was standing her there a minute ago. So, I think trot is best for right now. Better kind of get used to this for a couple of days, then I'll try the canner. And it's supposed to be sunny the next few days, so hopefully that'll dry up some of that mud. She's got a very active tail, which I'm just now noticing when I'm watching this. But I like that she's staying on the rail here. She's trotting. And she's being more consistent of not diving in. So every time she stops, she's stopping off me saying, whoa. Rather than my reins. If I say whoa and sit and she doesn't stop, then I pick up my reins. She's got a pretty fancy little trot right there. <laughs> She's such a good girl. She's trying. And that's all that matters. Right there, she stopped pretty nicely. So here, can you spot the spook? She does a little spook. And it's very hard to see, but I felt it very clearly. I uh, moved the saddle, and she wasn't really uh, ready for it. So she did just a tiny little hop. But it's very hard to see if, you're, if you don't know when it happened. <laughs> So here I sped it up. I'm just allowing her to stand here and relax. 
And here's where we get our problem. So there's some turkey on the road. I'm trying to stop her and ask her to stand, and she's just got her head raised. So I try to flex her, and she's very stiff, but she is listening at this point. And then I ask her to just kind of push her hip over a little bit, start kind of teaching her to move off my leg a little bit more. And she gets very worried right here. You can see her head's going up, and she's pulling through the bit because the turkey are now behind her. So I go back and try to flex her, and you can see she moves throughout the flexing and doesn't stand there. And she's kind of bracing. She's more worried about, oh my gosh, there's turkey over there than me being on her back. So at this point, I was like, okay, her head's going up. She's not paying attention. She's being stiff. I'm not going to stay on there. I'm going to get off. And I sped this up and I just yielded her hindquarters. I did some backing. I don't know if I left that in there. I didn't have like a whip or anything on me to push her out. And when she's focused on um, wildlife, it's very hard to get her to move without the whip. So I just did tons of working with her. And when I felt she was paying more attention, I got back on. And you can see there, she's already starting to move. She's facing away from the turkey. She can't see him. She's like, oh my god. And you'll see here, when I go to flex her on the other side, she's kind of moving a little bit. And then she's a little stiff. So when she stiffens, I ask her to move. So here, you can see how much I'm just having to really pull her to get her to flex. Because she's not bringing her nose in, she's more worried about the turkey. So when she finally brings her nose in there, I release and go back to the other side. So she's one of them that, you know, I don't care if they look at the wildlife here. I'm just wanting her to stand still with her head flexed. So I'm waiting for that. I don't mind if they look, but if their full attention goes on and they're just bracing through you and ignoring, um, I get off if I have to and do other things to get their attention back on me. Bye, guys.